Thank you for listening to Discovering the Scriptures with Dr. Peter John Parisis. Currently, we are in Daniel, chapter 5, verse 30. Reading from the King James Bible first, quote, In that night was Belshazzar, the king of the Chaldeans, slain. Unquote. Let's go ahead and go to God in prayer. Father, just ask in prayer that you would please forgive me for any and all sins that I have committed, knowingly and unknowingly. I'd also ask that you would please let me know of any parahenses that are in the way, so I can take care of them immediately. In Jesus' name I pray. Now, Lord, I do ask and pray that you would give me wisdom and knowledge in each one of us that are listening in and diving into your scriptures, meditating upon them. Please give us the wisdom and knowledge that we need. Help us to be obedient to the Holy Spirit, our teacher. Help us to hear him and be obedient. Help us when Jesus talks to us to hear him and be obedient. Thank you and help us to be obedient to you and your word and when you speak to us also. I ask and pray that you'd please speak with me now. And as I give a moment of silence and end my prayer. In Jesus' name I pray. Yeah. Thank you. If you need more time, just hit the pause button. Now the Young's Literal Translation. Quote, in that night, Belshazzar, king of the Chaldeans, is slain. Unquote. Now, I want to go ahead and read this in context first. The last paragraph of Daniel 5. Reading from the King James Bible, quote, In that night was Belshazzar, the king of the Chaldeans, slain. And Darius the Median took the kingdom, being about threescore and two years old. Unquote. Now, I want to go ahead and read this to you in the English Standard Version. A little bit better to understand. Quote, That very night Belshazzar the Chaldean king was killed, and Darius the Mede, M-E-D-E, received the kingdom, being about 62 years old. Unquote. Now, let's go ahead and parse out. All right, parsing this verse out. In that night was Belshazzar, the king of the Chaldeans, slain. Now, this is an Aramaic, and the only thing that needs to be parsed is the slain. And that is in a PL stem, casually written. And the aspect is passive participle. So, none of these phrases here in this verse have anything to do with the last days or cross-referencing over to any other verses at all. So, let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on here. We do know that in some of the commentaries, some of the more modern commentaries, written in the 1800s and 1900s, towards the end of the 1800s, had influence of some very critical um, started out in German, Germany, um, of the scriptures and whether they were actually true or not. And what we see is that here the king is dead. He's been killed. Now what we find out is that the Masoretic text tax here is shorter but we also have the LXX version which says, and the interpretation came upon Belshazzar the king, and the kingdom was taken from the Chaldeans and given to the Medes and the Persians. Okay? That's great. But, does it matter? He's dead. The kingdom is gone. But here's the cool thing. Is that, we find out that the king never went and proclaimed Daniel as being the third ruler of the kingdom. 
He is around 90 years old. It is towards the 70 year reign of this whole event that the Jews have been taken away from the homeland and Daniel has figured this out because he has been watching what's happening. He's been reading the law. He's been studying. He knows what's going on. He probably went home and went to bed before the king was slain. Does he have the purple robe and the gold chain to show that he in fact was? Probably. So that those who are critical he would have it to show. Let's go ahead and read John Gill's commentary on this. In that night was Belshazzar the king of the Chaldeans slain, not by a servant of his own, or by a eunuch, one of his guards, but those who led the Cyrus army up the river Euphrates into the city of Babylon, in course being turned, the inhabitants of which being reveling and rioting, and the gates opened, these men went up to the king's palace, the doors of which were opened by the king's order to know what was the matter. They rushed in, and finding him standing up with the sword drawn in his own defense, they fell upon and slew him, and all about him, as Zizophon, as X-E-N-O-P-H-O-N, relates, and this was the same night the feast was, and the handwriting was seen, read, and interpreted. This was after a reign of 70 years and the reign that Babylon had taken and it reigned about 17 years was Belshazzar and so many years were assigned to him some think he was three years but it doesn't matter he reigned he was slain that's what's going on here what does matter is that Daniel knew this from Nebuchadnezzar.